Hey everybody, I'm back again, and today I'm going to be opening some Amonkhet booster packs, um, some of my prizes from pre-release this past weekend. Uh, did very well, I attended three events in total. Um, at the place that I attend, if you go 4-0 you get 10 packs. Um, I went 3-0-1 twice, and 2-1-1 on my last event. Uh, I ended up splitting prizes with um, some of the guys, so in total I got 15 prize packs, which I'll open today. If you want to skip forward, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, first thing I'll do is just talk about some of the decks I played, and show you guys some of the cards that I had, and just my overall experience. Um, then in a couple weeks from now, I'll post some Ether Revolt videos that I've been meaning to post. So apologies for being out of order, but since Amonkhet is fresh in my mind, I wanted to talk about it today first. Uh, so the first uh, pre-release pool I opened, I played a red-white deck. Um, some of my good rares were Dusk to Dawn. And then I had uh, an Oracle's Vault for my pre-release foil. And then I had another Oracle's Vault um, in a pack. Let me focus this a little more. And then I had an, a Mythic Angel of Sanctions. So uh, I also splashed, or well I played two colors, I played red as well. So I was kind of red-white aggro. Um, although these are sort of slower cards, um, they definitely really helped me out late game though. Um, this was definitely a bomb. Um, at one point, there was one game where I had both of these active with three brick counters on them. And I was just drawing three cards a turn and then just casting my cards for free. So these were really awesome. Um, and didn't use this too much, but when I needed it, wept the board for me. Uh, so that was good. I went 3-0-1, oh, split the, my prizes with the last guy, um, and good thing I did that because he actually beat me <laughs> anyways. Um, we played for fun. Um, so I got seven packs from that, and then a couple hours after that I played again, and I played my favorite deck of that day, or of all pre-release. So I played a red-black aggro deck. I got this good uh, removal card here that uh, destroys target creature or planeswalker and it also makes a zombie for you and can get rid of one of their embalmed guys in their graveyard then I had the glory bringer this card is pretty amazing it it feels like a mythic um, basically it comes in deals four to a creature when it attacks and you exert it and it also deals four to the opponent um, flyers in this format were pretty huge um, had a couple flyers and my white deck from earlier, and then my last deck, and it was just really good. Um, and last, I my good rare was Neheb the Worthy. Um, so basically, this card has a ton of, of functionality, um, and I filled my deck up with Minotaurs uh, to go along with this guy. Uh, so it was just a really, really good beatdown deck. You know, cards like the Oncop. On Crop Crasher, the Emberhorn Minotaur, Cursed Minotaur, Blood Rage Brawler, Minotaur Sure Shot, and probably one or two more. But uh, you get the picture with these guys, along with Neheb the Worthy, really tore tore my opponents up. Um, other good cards from this deck were uh, the Cartouche of Ambition. This really helped a lot with lifelink, um, some removal. Bantu's Monument was good for black creature spells, um, some other good removal. And that's pretty much the highlights of that deck. It was really good. I really enjoyed playing that deck. And the last deck I played, um, this is the one I went 2-1-1 one, one with. I thought I was going to do better, and I probably should have, but um, I drew one round, and then I was I had to splash blue for this deck, so didn't quite have the mana I needed at times, but the reason I was... So it was a green-black deck primarily, but I wanted to splash blue to play this Bounty of the Luxa card, and when I did get it out, it was really good, drawing me cards, giving me extra mana, um, but against fast decks, it's just not that great. Um, there's the blue-black mana that helped me out. This Plague Belcher card was, was really good. I liked it a lot, actually. Um, I didn't have too many zombies, so its last ability didn't really help me out. And I played Liliana's Mastery again. Another card that 
if I had more zombies, it would have been great. Um, but lastly, I had uh, this Trial of Ambition card I really like, especially if you have several cartouches. Um, just if your opponent has one creature on the board and it's a big creature, you can just remove it for two mana. So really mana efficient here and especially good if you can just keep returning it to your hand. So um, let's see. I, didn't, I got this card as one of my pre-release foils. And I got this card as well. Um, I think this card might be worth a little bit, but it's super unplayable in a limited format, so I didn't open it uh, or didn't play it. Um, some amazing things that I got, though. Um, my first pre-release box, I opened up a Maelstrom Pulse. Really cool invocation card. I think this one's worth maybe 40 or 50 at the moment. Um, these cards look kind of dumb though, <laughs> to be honest, they're not very pretty. But I was super excited to get one of those. I think the chances of getting one are like 2% or something in a pre-release box. And then on my second pre-release box, I pulled another one. I got a Pact of Negation, so that was pretty insane uh, getting two. And those were both on Saturday. Um, on Sunday, unfortunately, I didn't get another one. But, like I said, we have 14 prize packs to go through. I opened one already. So maybe we'll get another one. So here are all the prize packs we're going to open right now. Let's hope we get some good stuff. I'm probably just going to skip right ahead to the uncommon and the rare. So we'll see what we get. Got a Hypatra's Mark, Nest of Scarabs, I want to play that card. Defiant Great Maw, I played this card in my green black deck. Ah, and then we have a Visor of the Menagerie, I'm not sure how to pronounce that word, but uh, this is a really good card. Alright, that's a good start, starting off with a Mythic. Next pack. Skip ahead. We have Synchronized Strike. I did not play that card. I got it, but I didn't play it. We have Lay Claim. Again, seven mana. It's a little too high for me. Deem Worthy. Good removal, but you have the black cards. I had the black cards that just exile target creatures, so even better than this. Oh, we have another Oracle's Vault. Been getting those a lot. Alright. We're at number two. Next pack. Now, that's the first time I've seen this guy. Six mana for a Flying Vigilance Cycling card. That's pretty good. For a common. We have Onward to Victory. We have an Oncrop Champion. Cast Out. That's a good removal card. And then we have Commit to Memory. Put Target Spell. And other side. Not too bad. Alright, next up. No greater sand one, that's a scary thing. Another Synchronized Strike, a Baleful Emmet. I never pulled one of these, but that this card destroyed me one game because it gained the opponent like 15 life. Pretty good card. Watchers of the Dead. And then another Dust to Dawn. Decent card.
pack number five. Protection of the Hecma. Labyrinth Guardian. Grasping Dunes. And Heaven to Earth. Another good board wipe card. And a Glyph Keeper token. I don't think we've gotten any full art lands yet. Maybe we did and I missed it. But I'll pull them out next time. Alright, next up we have Fling. Skip ahead. We have a Watchful Naga. Bone Picker. Oh, I wanted this card too. This is a really good card. Could be a one mana Flying Death Touch 3 2. Stir the Sands. Not bad. Then we have a Sheltered Thicket. Just a dual land cycler. Ah, there's a full art. And a beast token. So put that over here. Alright. Next pack. By Force, good sideboard card. Cryptic Serpent, decent. Trial of Knowledge, and Channeler Initiate. This is another card that I didn't see, but not too bad. All right, next pack, no foils yet. Apologies for the bad shadows in the video. I don't quite have a good camera set up right now. First we have Open Into Wonder. Trial of Zeal. Decimator Beetle. Ooh, this is a good one. Then we have a Dread Wanderer. This card is pretty nasty too. And a cat token. Alright, we've got six packs left. First uncommon is Faith of the Devoted. And we have Gate to the Afterlife. I've never seen that one before. Then we have Defiant Great Maw. Ah, Bounty of the Luxa. Another Full Art Mountain with a Warrior token. Warrior. And the Rare. Next pack. Cryptic Serpent, Gale Strike, Trial of Zeal, and Curator of the Mysteries. It's pretty good. The Swamp. And when I say pretty good, it's mostly just for limited. We have Embalmer's Tools. Only good in an Embalm deck. Spring to Mind. Trial of Solidarity. Shadow of the Grave. This is <laughs> a 
think one of the most worthless cards in the set. And then we have a Foil Dissenter's Deliverance. Destroy target artifact. Just stick that right there. And a uh, token, Aven Initiate. All right, three packs remaining. Still only one Mythic. Nothing spectacular so far. Lord of the Accursed. Great card to have in a zombie deck. Watchers of the Dead. Merciless Javelinier. I did not have this card in my black red deck, unfortunately. Another good Minotaur. Then we have Hapacha, Visor of the Poisons. This is a card I like too. We have another foil. This time it's an Ancient Crab with a Warrior Token. Uh, two more packs left. Cancel. Bantu's Monument. True Heart Twins. Watchers of the Dead. And Liliana's Mastery. With a True Heart Duelist token. I'm tempted to make a zombie deck for standard just to play around with. Last pack. Oh, just a second. Apologies for the interruption there. Uh, last pack, we have Ancient Crab. Let's get something good here. Horror of the Broken Lands, decent common. We have Kenra Charioteer. Consuming Fervor. Visor of the Tumbling Sands. And Dispossess is the Rare. Not too good. But a Full Art Forest. And a Cat Token. Well, nothing great, unfortunately. Um, just this one Mythic. But, at least I still have the two invocations from pre-release. Pactum Negation and Maelstrom Pulse. Pretty happy with those. Of course, you would have liked to have a Force of Will, but uh, happy nonetheless. Um, I didn't play either of these, by the way. Didn't want to. <laughs> didn't want to damage them. But that's all I've got, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.